All right, eight. So I need for you to tell me, are these equivalent fractions? Are they equivalent? Yes. Why are they equivalent? Somebody tell me why. Okay, and why are these all these equivalent? Why is four sixths, two thirds, and eight twelfths equivalent? What did we say equivalent meant, guys? Equal. 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 Are they equal? Yes. Are they all these equal? Yes. Why? Why do you know? Why do you know they're equal? How do you know they're equal? How do you know that four sixths, two thirds, and eight twelfths are equal or equivalent? They're the same size, the same amount, aren't they? Yes? yes? So when they are the same size, the same amount, the fractions are equivalent. So now, equivalent, can you tell me now by looking at those strips, those strips or those stacks, which one would be the simplest by fraction of all three of those equivalent fractions? Which one would be the simplified fraction? Y'all discuss it in your group. Do you, do you um, agree? Okay. So if I said 5 times 4 equals 20, what two numbers would be the factors, guys? 5 and 4. 5 and 4. So factors are factors times factors give us the problem. Yes? Okay. Turn over. What's the top number the word say? Greatest common factor. What is it? Greatest common factor. Greatest means what? Biggest. 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 So common means? Same. And we just said factors are numbers we multiply together to get the product. Okay. So what do we have? Three six. What do we know that? We were adding. Two thirds and uh, oh, I we got that. Yes. Can we add them as they are? No, no, we can't. Right. What do we have to do? Find the what? What do we have to find, guys? Hello. What? 
Give me another factor that they share, Christian. Two. Two. Y'all agree? Yes. Give me another factor they share. Uh, Sergio? Four. Four. Is there anything else they share? Eight. What, class? Eight. Eight. Okay, what does both, what is the greatest number that 12 and 16 share? Eight. Eight. What is it? Eight. 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 Eight would be the greatest number because it's the largest number that both 12 and 16 has with share. Okay, we're not going to be keeping these in our pockets to simplify fraction, y'all. We're not going to keep them in the pocket. Oh, I need to simplify fraction. Let me take out some pieces. Are we going to keep these pieces in our pockets all the time? No. No. So there's a way to simplify fractions without using those um, those pieces, those fraction pieces. So now let's practice that. We're going to practice that. So let's go down to God and practice. See God and practice? It says what? Find the GCF of... Come on, y'all read too slow. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Find the GCF of three months. What does GCF mean? Greatest common factor. What does greatest mean? Largest. What does common mean? Same. What are factors? Number we multiply to get the product. Okay, so we have a fraction. We have three and we have nine. That means we got three pieces out of nine. But we're going to see if we, we can simplify. What does simplify, simplify mean? Reduce, right? We're going to reduce the piece, number of pieces, yes? Yes. Okay, so when you want to simplify, you need to write the factors of 3 and the factors of 9. So on the line, on your workspace, this is what I need for you to do. I want you to write multiples of 3, not multiples, I'm sorry, and 9. Again, we said factors are numbers that we multiply to get the product. product. So I want you to give me your hands for it for quickly. And I need for you to give me the factors of three, the number three. But before you do that, I need to see if you wrote three colon and nine colon in your workspace. Like I did. That's the first thing you need to do. And if I were you, I would kind of space it out because you never know. I'm trying to put a space so it won't be so close together. That's just my suggestion. So factors are numbers we multiply together. Okay, Malachi, can you tell me what two numbers we can multiply to get three? Give me two factors of three. Start with the number one and the number itself. Three times one. Okay, so we're gonna put put one, three, guys. Got that? Because one times three. One and three. Doesn't one times three give us three? Yes. Is there anything else that gives us three? So let's do our little hand motion. Three. One times three. All right. Let's go to nine. I always start with the number one and the number itself. Give me one, uh, Isaiah. One times nine. He says one times time nine. Do y'all agree? Okay, so this, 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 one, here, put nine, just to give it some space. Don't matter, it can be big, it's my don't matter. Okay, is there any other factors that would give us nine? Any other factors? I'm waiting for everybody to put one and nine first. Everybody has not done that. Hold on for a second. And you see I have my nine space. I don't have my nine right beside my one. My nine is not right beside my one because I had the other numbers. Three times three. Three times three. First of all, let's stop. I kind of like you to make space right here so you have numbers for the small. Because you see how my numbers go from small to greatest? My nine is right not right beside my one. I'm still seeing that. So one times three gave us three. One times nine gave us nine. What else would give us nine, guys? What'd you say, Brianka? Three times three. Three times three, but we're gonna only write the three once. 
because we're not need to use it twice. Three times three. Three. 